Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. And Trinidad James is not here today. Right off the bat, I want to let you know, this is a live stream. This is not full-size run. We don't want to call this full-size run. We are the full-size run, guys. Uh, Two-thirds size <laughs> run? I don't know. We do have a guest with us. Prop. A prop. I'm not Matt Gian, also. We, <laughs> we have Gerald Flores, editor-in-chief yeah. of Soul Collector, with us here today. Uh, listen, we just wanted to connect with the fans. We know we're a little bit late, but we're here. Um, Welty's not wearing a hat. We got a bunch of stuff on the tables. Uh, many, many things to discuss. We're doing this all in celebration of the next season of Full Size Run, which will be live next Thursday, January 30th. Welty, start time still the same? Start time still the same. 6 p.m. on Thursday. Okay. Eastern you, time. That's right. On time. You on can time. find us there. Yeah, and <laughs> on time, most importantly. Um, this Watch is, us be late for the first episode, too, and then you're going to get shit for it. No, 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 no. Don't jinx it. Please don't jinx it. Um, listen, we are watching along in the chat. I have a tablet here. Gerald's manning the comments as well. So anything you want to say to us? Uh, Already a lot of comments about Matt Welty going no cap. Um, that is a, that, yeah, that is huge. I think that I think the FS Army is probably shocked. Uh, they're probably in awe right now seeing Welty with that. Welty is even in awe. He's staring. <laughs> he, he looks like he's staring off in the distance, but he's actually staring at the monitor of himself Sorry. here oh, here on set. He's looking at himself, just so you know. Chris um, Riddlemeyer asking Welty's hat why. I feel like you you owe them an explanation. But why not wearing a hat? Yeah. Because I just like get to a point where like grown ass man, you don't have to wear a hat 24 seven look a little more serious can't be embarrassed about uh, a hairline which is a genetic thing okay so this is a new level of confidence for you yeah man just like fucking it, it opened it opens a door whether you want to wear a hat or you don't want to wear a hat you know shouldn't that be like the choice that everyone has in life um so you're saying pro-choice is where you fall oh yeah is that <laughs> is that um, we're going to talk more about wealthy's hat for sure because I, I think there's a lot of psychological layers to that that we can peel back um we are going to give away some sneakers, uh, not in the stream right now, but if you go to the Full Size Run social channels, at Full Size Run uh, Show, Twitter, Instagram, you know where to find us. We are giving away some worst takes from the last season. Welty, do you want to show them some of the worst takes that we're giving away? We're going to put out a link, but Welty, you want to walk us through? So we have, um, these are some really bad uh, zip up shoes. Okay. They're all bit pretty bad. Yeah. Do you remember um, which episode or do people this in the one, chat remember? This one, some, some of these are signed. Um, this one was signed by, hit it, <coughs> Jadakiss, um, Steve Madden. A uh, may or may not be a piece of shit. Yeah, um, a good episode. Uh, let us know in the comments uh, if you are trying to win a pair of first takes. Like I said, all you have to do is go to the full size run social channels and we have a link there where you can enter to win a pair these are what percentage are, of the fs army do you think is actually wearing shit like this on the low um listen right now on the stream if you wear stuff like this just please leave this is not for you we we, we we're not accepting the people that can change their life uh <laughs> they could change their life yeah what do, what do you mean i mean you could someone at some point probably wore wax sneakers like this and probably got into dope shoes at some point right you all need to start somewhere okay okay we we respect that type of glow up um a lot of comments uh, pouring in oh, here. Man. Wow, people are, uh, Welty is about to snitch, someone said. Uh, yeah. Someone also said, drop the top, Welty. Full size full size beard and baldy. Uh, someone <laughs> wants to know if Gerald is Filipino. Gerald, can you uh, comment on that in Tagalog? Tagalog? Uh, Tagalog? <laughs> Tagalog <laughs> verified, I, I am Filipino. Wait, are you Filipino or are you a Philippine? Well. Philippine. Uh, Filipino. Philippine, <laughs> I support the Philippines as well. Shout out to Trinidad, James. Uh, someone said, yeah. someone <laughs> said we need, um, what did they say? We need Malcolm, Joe, and Jada back this season. Who is Malcolm? Was that a guest we had on that I totally forgot about? Yeah. I have no, I have <laughs> I no idea who that is. Um, but Someone's please, real name that we don't know. Please let us know in the comments if you have requests for guests, guest requests. Tell us in the chat who you want to see. And Gerald, if you can let us know who the people are saying, because we we have a bunch of ideas. We have some people booked already, but we always want to know who are loyal fans. Who? Yeah, who do you want? Who do you want to see? I already got $2 in the chat. $2 wow. in the chat? <laughs> Just because? We want to uh, go. That's a Scout Thompson. Uh, Welty gets worst take. He looking like One Punch Man? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. I got you. What's, what's, what, wait, what's One Punch Man? Welty, what were you saying? Wait, what's One Punch Man? You can Google it afterward. <laughs> what, what, is, what, is, <laughs> Welty. what is One Punch Man? No, tell me. I believe it's an anime. Am I, am, oh, God. Is I, it not? I hope it was nothing offensive because we're uh, not live. Uh, it's an anime. All right. Oh, yeah, thank Please God. do not read any more <laughs> shout outs. Oh, oh uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we we got to be careful. People like to try and trick us with the, <laughs> with the you know, where they want to shout out. So we got these uh, really shitty um, fake 
a Ford and Jordan ones. Wow. Um, yeah, these look like these are what like the. We had 40 minutes to think of. Were these the mellow? The mellow ones? Yeah, it looks kind of like that with the gold and the black. Yeah. Another worst take sneaker we're giving away. Like these. These, these were here. from the smallest guest. On Lil the TJ. Show. Lil TJ. Oh, sorry. Are we having people guess? Oh, I don't know. Fuck it. Should, should we have people guess? Yeah. All right, the next, next shoe. This one goes down as one of the most legendary worst take shoes on full size run for multiple reasons. Tell us in the chat if you know, if you remember off the top of your head, which episode this worst take shoe. The Air Gordans. Gerald, do they have the answer? Does anybody know? Uh, there's, a little, there's a little delay, so they might be they might be dropping it. I think what is coming in on the comments are people's requests for guests for 2020. Okay. What do they want to see? Yeah. Uh, they call in the... Two dollars. <laughs> I, I think I think I'm getting a long distance phone call right here. <laughs> I hope it's PJ Tucker because that name is coming up a lot. Okay. Yeah. Perfect pair is coming up a lot. West Side Gun. Uh, sure. Fomer Simpson. People people saying bring Dad on. Dad is still with us. I'm gonna call him in a little bit. I'm gonna get him on Facetime. It's just if you if you put this extra ear, you can hear someone from like a bootleg sneaker factory actually like talking to you through. <laughs> what does it sound like? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> Who else do people want to see as a guest this season, Gerald? Uh, let's see, Sean Watherspoon, Slobby Robbie, never heard of him. Uh, oh, yeah. get a, get a complex show. What yeah, are you well, talking about? We want to make the Slobby Robbie thing happen. Please uh, reach out to Slobby Robbie on our behalf. Jerry Lorenzo, Pete Davidson. Need that. Need that. Future. Mm -hmm. I see West Side Gun. Mm -hmm. Khaled, of course. Yep. Uh, who else we got here? Fab, Bad Bunny. Um, I'll, I would do both of those. I wrote an interesting story about Future once in Reebok. Yeah. It oh. cost complex the bag. Uh, got the Revzel paying five dollars for the return of Yeezy Buster. Uh, I don't know. We would love to have him. I don't know if he wants to do that. <laughs> I don't have. I don't have any animosity towards no. towards him. Nor do I. And um, I think people should let him live. You make one mistake on the internet, people should forgive you. Like I think. I think. I think he. He's a young kid. I think he has a good future ahead of him at, at that age. To be able to amass that sort of following is like something that's commendable, respectable, but you also need to be a little lighter on yourself in some sort of situations. You yeah. can't beat yourself up over every single mistake you make in life. I Older, agree. wiser, wealthy. Yeah. Uh, people are saying Brad Hall. Uh, we are really working on Brad Hall. Listen, a lot of these, we need your guys' help. I think Brad said no to coming on the show. That's Brad, what I heard. why'd you say no? That's what I heard. Brad, why'd you say no? <laughs> Tell me now. If you're watching this, Brad, why'd you say no? Wait, we got another donation to uh, comment on your outfit. Welty, uh, P-Rod, 1192, Welty looks like Khalilu the later years. Who? I don't know who these are. Who is it? Old, who is it? Too old for all these. Wait, who? You, got, you guys got to be Khalilu more... Khalilu later years. I, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know that one either. <laughs> um, listen, did, did, I don't know if people realize, but we are coming to you so fucking crystal clear this season. We have new cameras, we're in a different set. It looks the same to you, but the, we're in a different room. The, the energy is different. I might even say the vibes are, are visible. Wait, can you find the vibes? I'm, I'm look, I see, is that, hold on. Is that the vibe? <laughs> no, right over here. You need to get a. I, th I think that's it. Um, we are no longer uh, stuck in the dark ages when it comes to that sort of stuff. So, so, so you will be seeing our pores up close and personal. You can, you can project it oh, in I need a to, theater. Need to just air this out. The last time I'm gonna fucking say this, but the first time I'm gonna say it publicly. Me and Brendan were involved in some sort of shoot the other day, this which I can't, crazy. which I can't, which I can't talk about. This is crazy. This is crazy that this is how your mind works and this is what you think about. But go ahead. Well, you said pores. Go ahead. So we're talking about pores. Uh, let the record show that my older ass, we were at some sort of shoot that we can't talk about quite yet, but we had to get our hair and makeup done. I don't get any hair done, but uh, <laughs> I'm, glad you, I'm glad you sacrificed yourself because I was. Although I did, I did get a little, a few uh, neck hairs uh, clipped. Okay. But after the shoot, we're sitting there getting the makeup taken off, and uh, the makeup artist said to me, she goes, don't worry, you won't take so long. I only had to use half as much makeup on you as I had to do Brendan. There you have it. I'll take that, man. There you have it. That's a win in life. That is a, that's gotta be a big moment for you. I know you, you've been going really hard with the, the IG story selfies lately. Like I'll see you in some like fucking bathroom in New Jersey with a bunch of paper towels on the floor in the middle of the night posting a <laughs> selfie. So I'm glad that your skin looks right for that type of stuff. I don't know, are we no filter on those selfies? No filter, are you, okay. are you using filters? No, I don't do selfies like that. I mean, you did post a picture of yourself with a face mask on. I, it's not a selfie. That was a paid promo post. I have the, we're not gonna get into all that because those people aren't paying for this right now. Um, if oh, you- Got a, another donation, which uh, I think we should address. 
Uh, let's see, Killamama uh, asking what shoes we're wearing since there's no secret cam. <sighs> Wealthy, should we talk about the sneakers we're wearing today? Uh, nothing special. Okay. Um, well, I mean, it's a good shoe, but nothing special. Just okay. wearing ZX6000. I feel like we want to... Nothing we special? Nothing special, but I feel like, and I don't know if you feel the same way too, but you know, you want to kind of stockpile the good sneakers up yes. for the season. So yes. we don't, what's the point of just breaking something out for the live stream when we want to give you the real heat on the things that people remember? Hopefully you remember this. This is true. Someone's saying Benny the Butcher for the show. Um, Gerald, do you want to tell them what sneakers you're wearing? Uh, I had to, since like uh, you guys are rough, I, I usually wear we're black cement. Three, no, the commenters, I mean, oh. uh, were off white. And, and for the record, you do wear anywhere between eight and nine and a half. <laughs> oh. Shout out the Asian market. Oh but my usually God. I wear black cement threes every day. Um, listen, I am wearing Reeboks. I know, I know you have a million questions about that. We're not going to talk about that right now. I, I, I will share some news soon. Ba -ba 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 the status of all Fuck! that, I, I, I'm sure people really, really, really want to know, but um, we're, we're not going to talk about all that right now. Um, people want Kanye on the show. Wealthy, can we make it? Oh, yeah, just like snap of the fingers. Kanye West, come on the show. Get Kofi Kingston so Brandon can tell him how fake wrestling is. I'm happy to. Um, <laughs> you think he'll choke you out? I don't know. Might be cool. Um, <laughs> Kanye for a full-size round series finale? Easy. Easy. Serious series finale. If, if, if we could get Kanye on the show, hypothetically, okay. if we could get Kanye on the show. Kanye you, West, right? Yes, Kanye West. If you get Kanye West on the show, no matter what the future of full size run is, would you be just willing to call it a wrap there? If we if the if the stipulations were you could get Kanye West on the show, would you be willing to end full size run? <sighs> I would have to consult with the FS Army because it's about them. It's not about us anymore. That'd be going out with a fucking bang, right? That, yeah, yes, sir. Um, well, see, I want to I want to run through some trivia while we're here on this live chat. By the way, we're watching all your comments. We, we see them all. Tell us tell us how you feel about the stream, and if you have any really pertinent questions, let us know, and we'll do our best to answer them. But I have a question for you guys. It's a trivia question. We want to see how loyal these FS Army members are in the comments. This trivia question for you. First one we're going to do, uh, what was the name that I gave to the month of October last year when I was rebranding it? I hope the people know because... Ima imagine imagine the amount of balls or self-importance that you have that you think you can actually rebrand a month. <laughs> You're like, hey, everyone who follows, you know, the oh. roaming calendar, I'm going to change one of these. Hey, man. I think first one, we got it right. We got it right, correct answer so, already. Who, who got uh, it? Shout out Avery Fitzgerald. Avery Fitzgerald. Bok Any relation to Gerald Flores? Uh, no relation at all. Okay. I hope he's a nice person, though. Uh, Boktober. Boktober. That's right. That's right. Um, you got it right. Boktober. Someone also... also uh, Raul Ramos also paid a dollar ninety nine. What for? Uh, just to uh, have the answer, just to submit the answer. So. Oh. And also shout out to whoever. Uh, I feel like it was the the season finale. There was someone who tricked us, a member of the Mexican FS Army, uh, that we thought paid like two hundred dollars or something like that, and then we had to uh, not translate uh, convert convert the money, and it was like. Two dollars and fifty cents, and everyone in the chat was like, "Boo this man!" Yeah, they, yeah, they, they really got it. Someone's saying Marcus Jordan's dad for full size run. He's, he's welcome to come on. Welty, do we want to talk about the biggest thing that people want to know? Why? What? The no, the no cap thing, or do you feel like you address? Yeah, sure. Let's talk now? about it. Yeah. Do, does anybody have any questions Get about? Out. Yeah. Let's just let's just address the elephant on your head. Um, <laughs> about the about the total lack of headwear here by the way i gotta go see benny before i know i know this is a little sloppy right now for me just as long as we're talking hair i am going to see benny before before the season starts so don't worry about that but wealthy anything else you want to say about not wearing a hat this year no I just uh got to a point where i'm kind of like hey uh feel more confident i guess but not that i feel unconfident but okay uh, but just uh Getting older, feel like I don't have to wear a fucking baseball hat. Some people used to say that like I looked like a kid, okay, wearing the like a uh, dad hat or baseball cap like all the time. And I'm kind of like, hey, it's nice not to be able to wear a hat all the time. And it's also nice not to have to buy a new hat. Yeah, the like, hat budget's out of control. <laughs> well, I want to interrupt you real quick. We got a couple donations coming in. Cooks Twenty Two podcast saying I respect you guys. It's cool. You dudes don't act shady. Um, I'm not sure if you have the right people. Uh, let's people know cameras don't change y'all. I request Redman on. We want to do Redman for sure. Uh, Shout Urban out to New Jersey. said, get Jay Balvin or Anwell. Uh, uh, um, mm. We may be able to make that happen. Alejandro. Eminem would make be dope, happen. someone saying as well. Yeah, 
Eminem, come on the show. Um, I got a couple are you are you here. listening to the new Eminem album, Brendan? I did not. I have to say, I did not. Gerald, are you? Uh, no, I, I only listen to Christian music. Uh, got a um, quest, a lot of questions about your uh, ha hairline, though. Yeah. Do you mind? Yeah, sure. Because I feel like a lot of people may empathize with you. Uh, Matthew, um, or actually, Casanova wants to know when did you notice you were going bald? Um, I've had like a, I feel like a receding hairline since like, you know, late teen years. Not like all of a sudden you're just like woof. But all of a sudden you're like, hey, like I got a haircut and it's a little like, you know, it's a little uh, push up. But I, even when I was a, like a little kid, I was like always like due to wear a hat. And I used to have a big ass fucking mop on my head that was mm. like, I used to have actually, I think there's a picture of me and, like when I was in high school. I kinda we need had a live Photoshop of a big <laughs> hair head. No, I kind of had a, actually at one point in my life, later in high school, I had like a fro. Really? Yeah, I had like really curly and wavy. Uh, I had a curly fro in high school too. Shout out to you if you can find those yeah, photos. Yeah, um, that was around. Well, t can we talk to them about the new merch we have going on here? Yeah. So, like we said, we have um, we have all the worst take sneakers sitting here. We are giving the worst takes away. Uh, you saw that in the title, the the craziest awful sneakers we could find, or whatever we're calling this thing. You got the, some, as uh, Chris Bosch would say, foost. Yeah, foost. the the, the feezies. Um, we're giving those away on the soul collector and full size are on social channels find that there but we do want to talk about the merch uh, we've been trying to get this merch game going we do have some designs for you these are all available now on shop.complex.com all the profits go directly to me so support <laughs> it as much as you can and i hope i hope it's i hope it's working because i know there was a little bit of a hiccup there was a little bit of a hiccup but i think the items are live now so i'm going to show you three shirts these are all full size run merch designed by our own tommy lamb shout out tommy lambo this is the uh, wealthy can we say that what this is inspired by or is that going to get nope. sued Okay, this is just a logo <laughs> of uh, your three favorite uh, sneaker personalities on a T-shirt here. You may work part-time at an at a <laughs> auto parts store. <laughs> um, this is a full-size run piece of merch we're offering now. we got a couple more pieces here, a nice Heather Gray, Wealthy-inspired. Um, this says FSR on the front. And it has a magnifying glass. And on the back, have you ever resold sneakers? Um, uh, perfect perfect T-shirt for every single member of the FSR. Full Army. size run detective agency. That's right. Always on the beat. That's right. Uh, one more piece of merch here, another t-shirt we have. I mean, we had to do this. Please don't tell Jim Jones. I don't know if he's gonna ask for royalties or what, but um, we did it. Long time coming. <laughs> we retired the joke, but the t-shirt's out now, aha. Right there, you know, the artwork. Turn it around, let him see, the, you gotta see the front. I think the front's the best part of the shirt. Neighborhood watch. That's also Always cool. snitching. Um, all these shirts, this latest round of full-size run merch is available now at shop.complex.com. That's where you can find this stuff. Please do buy a bunch of shirts. That's the only way we're going to be able to make more merch is if you show us that you actually want to spend your hard-earned money on this stuff. Tell us in the comments if you have any critiques about the merch or which shirt is your favorite after seeing them right away. These and have to be one of the wildest. The Travis Knotts, according to Smoke <laughs> Oh, <laughs> going back to the worst takes. The, uh, the best part about these, besides the fact that they they say Smoke Dizza wrote, these suck on, on the <laughs> side of the shoes. Him. Sorry, Welty's Todd Yates donated four ninety nine to say shout out to Welty. Shout out Todd. About to finally give my shave, give in and shave his head as well. Bald boys. Yeah. Shout out to you for embracing, embracing. Got the people are saying I got the the McDonald's arches going. Oh <laughs> boy. <laughs> um, listen, whatever, Welty, man. Should we hit him with another trivia question? Yeah. Okay. Hit me, Brendan, one more time. This is another um, joke that we've kind of retired, but we'll go back to it for a trivia question. Which guest had a <coughs> teacher named Miss Guthrie? Do you remember the episode where the joke came from and which guest we had on Full Size Run? What are your thoughts about Miss Guthrie? She knows. Miss <laughs> Guthrie knows how I feel about her. If you're just checking in, this is a full size run live stream. Dad is not here today, but we are going to call him on FaceTime, see if he picks up, see if he wants to chat with the FS Army. I told you that my my, my dad had a had people a people know. Yeah, people know. Let's see. I want to see. I'm going to try to who was first. Uh, let's see. I got to go up. Look, there are a lot of comments. Uh, I'm going to go with Aleo, and he said Jacques. But Jacques. He, that's but he right. also spelled it Jacques, so he Oof. might have also got that wrong. But also, <laughs> also known as Big Quee, <laughs> six foot sixty. Shout out to him, man. That was the correct answer. Jacques was the guy. I told you, 
when I think it was over the Thanksgiving break, my dad was like, hey, you know, I love the show and all that, but... Yeah, I'm glad to hear he loves the show. You need to stop making fun of that old lady on the show every single episode. <laughs> and, 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 the, and, the, and the rationale behind it made a bit of sense because he was like, that episode is so far back that people probably don't even know what you're talking about, yeah. and you're just saying, fuck you to some old lady on the show every single episode. Yeah, well, two things. One, we're not sure she doesn't deserve it. There was also there was also a debate whether there was going to be a Miss Guthrie T-shirt, and we the legal department could not decide whether we were disparaging an alive or deceased person. I still think we can make a Miss Guthrie T-shirt that is tasteful and maybe not uh, including the exact phrase from that episode. Fuck you, Miss Guthrie. But I, I uh, we'll, we'll see. Maybe I'll maybe I'll. Do you like guys it. want a fuck you, Miss Guthrie T-shirt? Let us know in the comments. By the way, shout out to Matt John, our talented super duper editor. Live. He is live editing this shit right now. He claims that he had some bars like like in the clip. Oh, he had pre-written jokes? Yeah, that he had been building them up over the time. Like I, 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 he's, I been in the, he's been in like the gym getting his reps up. Like, <laughs> like you can we talk listen, man. Man, Balduary is really coming up in the comments, actually. Who? Balduary. Balduary? Yeah. <laughs> listen. There's only seven days or eight days left. Welty mentioned reps. I have to commend him. All jokes aside, he's been in the gym every day in the new decade? Uh, I think I missed one day, and it actually pissed me off. It pissed me off because because you are on a hell of a run right now. You've committed yourself to, to wellness. You've committed yourself to a, a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. And it's showing. You know what? All jokes aside, people in the comments, you know, I posted a video on my DMs. People are saying, Welty's looking swole. Welty's looking, Welty's looking lean. So... You know, I don't necessarily agree with eating steak for dinner every single night, but I still salute you uh, uh, for your consistency, your dedication. Thank you. We went out to Let the Record Show, we went out to dinner the other night to a steakhouse, and Brendan Dunn did not eat steak. And, and so it's it's consistency. Yeah. That's what's important. I had to... I had consistency to... in life in all... Talk about it. Except for being a piece of shit. <laughs> Do not be consistent with that, but consistency on... Uh, on uh, Man all levels is all fronts is a good thing in life yeah that's that's for damn sure gerald any mm -hmm. any insight coming into the comments that we need to know about uh man i'm just going through all these ba ball jewelry uh, <laughs> <laughs> people really want us to call grams yeah. i don't have grams's number but but there's a kid who works at kith who knows grams so that's that's how we get if we want to get grams on the show i don't know maybe have, give grams his own segment or something like that but i don't have grams's number so i Isn't can't make reese friends with grams or am i making that up you may be right i'm i'm not sure listen well to you me, and reese actually ended up becoming friends yeah we're I, pals I, we text yeah I, I haven't skated with him or anything but we're pals shout out to reese i think reese reese the player was a very underrated episode if you really care about sneakers and i know everyone comes here because you want to hear sneaker talk but you also want to hear jokes and all that sort of stuff but if we you got actually, jokes but if you actually want to hear like a really like kind of meaningful impactful sneaker conversation from someone who was there yeah when all this shit happened go watch the reese the flair episode yeah please do um well the I want to I want to do a little callback. We were talking about consistency, and there's some more consistent sneaker programming where you can find us right now. For anybody that doesn't know yet, Wealthy and I are now doing the Complex Sneakers podcast with our co-host Joe LaPuma. Y'all yeah. call him Pluma. I call him Puma. <laughs> Don't fuck his name up. You heard? Every Friday at 6 a.m. We are there. It's a more in-depth conversation. We love Full Size Run. We love talking to celebrities, but but sometimes we really just want to go deep on the kind of conversations we have at our desks and with real industry people. So if you want more from us, which you should, uh, please go check out the Complex Sneakers podcast. We need you to subscribe, that's important. We need you to rate five stars and we need you to give a glowing review because all that's gonna help us uh, uh, climb the algorithm, so to speak. Um, or, cl or climb the clout mountain. Yeah, the, the clout mountain, climb the chart. So And also the reason why you should it's on Spotify, Apple, and Acast, yes, where yes, we get yes, your podcast. Yes. But all the uh, members of the FS Army, the one thing you will be happy to see, little spoiler alert, tomorrow, or it's already been put out there. Okay. Tomorrow at 6 a.m., Friday, I'm different. DJ <laughs> Clark Kent will be the guest on the Complex Sneakers podcast. And if you want to hear Clark actually go really in-depth about his love for sneakers and you know, yeah. other stuff, Go listen. Uh, we, 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 we have a couple a couple donations that we got to get to. Uh, Five dollars uh, from Smiley Face V Loan to say, please have Matt Welty look at the camera and say, "Our salon, I love you." I don't Welty, if you're comfortable with that, take it away. Uh, no. 
Okay, sorry. Uh, um, Cody also asked what uh, for your re workout regimen. He paid four ninety nine for it. <laughs> wow, he's paying for the plan. <laughs> wealthy. You want to hear like the the wealthy workout plan. The the daily what the daily routine is. He paid for it. This, All right. this could be the start of your Patreon. All Get right. The fucking um, details. So R real quick, sorry. <laughs> Cole Whitlock says Kenny G perfect pair on the show. We paid three dollars for that, so I'm gonna give it to him. And the Kenny Swag said I want Brandon to give a shout out to Phenom Global. Phenom Global. Phenom Global. There you go. Wealthy, tell him about the workout plan. All right. So this is probably what I do like. Three or four days a week. Okay. Um, Bring I'll, John Mayer on the show. I saw that. Yep. I'll grab a 52-pound uh, kettlebell, do three sets of 20 swings with that. Um, I'll go in, like, the, the dip chair and put a 40-pound weight between my legs and do <clears throat> ten sets, uh, three sets of 10 knee-ups. Then you go to the dip bar. You do three sets of 10 dips. Yeah, all the rest of this is on the Patreon. Um, yep. we got to get to Drift Flipper Skip. But Wealthy's Patreon coming in extremely soon. You can get the entire workout plan. Uh, you can Grab a like fucking that. kettlebell and swing it around and stop being a baby in life. That's that's the, the most <laughs> there, important thing. There it is. Right? Look, we did ask for some members of the FS Army to submit to our social channels before this some, some, some fits, be brave about it, and... Uh, show off their drip for us to to rate we're going to do some drip flipper skipping dad isn't here but we're still going to do it without him so we do have a couple outfits wealthy are we going to be honest with these outfits yeah okay this was a, actually a pretty like getting back to the worst take shoes this yep. is a pretty legendary worst take shoe uh i want to bring back the moment um so this was at complex con yes i remember uh me and gerald had gone to hooters <laughs> oh, to, to watch the knicks much. game you yeah. wanted to watch the knicks game I so did, reading yeah. buffalo wings and Shout drinking, out to Belinda. drinking vodka sodas, keto friendly. I see. keto friendly at there, and then we're like, "Yo, we need, we need uh, worst take yeah. shoes." So we went to H and M of all places yeah. and picked these out. <laughs> and um, well, to you, a couple, a couple uh, donations I got to read off. Andrew Wynn, two dollars, saying, "Looking like a new man, wealthy, no cap, 2020, Drew money." Shout out to you, Drew. Uh, Kelvin Vargas, two dollars. You should get United Hawaii on. What is that? United Hawaii? Is that an airline? I don't know. I never heard of that, but I will I know Truist it. Hawaii. I don't know United Hawaii. Uh, Black Wave 54, 199. Well, couldn't give us two, and even two. Says Jesus Amaro. We need that for sure. Oh, yeah. uh, M. Thompson says, get Lupe Fiasco on. Well, do you have a Lupe Fiasco story you want to tell really Oh, quick? yeah. Got to um, shout out Conceited. Um, except for that weird uh, Hot Ones uh, ripoff that you did. Just okay. need to talk about that real quick. Either way, but shout out Conceited. Uh, member, one of the early guest on full size when we finally up the level of the show ten dollars from ravioli ravioli asking where did wealthy's hairline go um it's right here look it either way um golden arches I, either either way uh so he came to complex con where we did Dion sanders mm -hmm. he was hanging out out back with us decided to walk the floor and Awesome to hang, like realize that that dude is actually famous. So yeah. we're walking around. He's running like into us. everyone, running into everyone, and out of nowhere, he's having a conversation with one of the many people who are bumping into him. I look down, I'm not really paying attention. Then I look up, and I'm like, holy fuck! Lupe Fiasco is standing in a circle and talking to us. And conceited, actually being a good guy, yeah. goes to Lupe Fiasco and was like, yo, this is Matt. He has the show called Full Size Run. You need to watch it. And Lupe comes back and goes, you know, I don't fucking watch that shit. Jeez. And I was like, man, Lupe, who said what I like looked up to in my life, just fucking killed me. And he goes, nah, man, I'm just kidding, but I haven't seen it. Big jokes. But we do want to get him on. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, that's a legendary story. Wealthy needed to tell that. We're going to get a little bit back on track here because we're running out of time. We do have some Drip Flipper Skip user submitted outfits to go through. We're going to go through them so quick. If you could please show me the first outfit. This is from at a love criminal. Amazing at. Wealthy, is this a drip flip or skip? Uh, it's a skip. It, you would say it was a drip because um, it's kind of like Trinidad all gold. This is Trinidad gym. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> but the reason why the reason why it's a skip, and I think the viewers will agree with this, is he okay. looks like he killed Charlie the Cheetah to make that. Flip. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. R.I.P. to Charlie. I'm with Wealthy on that. No offense to uh, Love Criminal there, but you know, uh, we don't want Peta uh, getting on our ass. Second user submitted. Um, Asset here. This is from Big Yoshi. I love the reference on the on the handle. I see you, Donkey. Um, wealthy, is this a drip flipper, Skippy? <laughs> this is a, this is a drip for me because he had the audacity to take it in the school bathroom. Like if if you have that kind of confidence, you you got it. it looked like he was like came back from futsal practice. Really, Big Yoshi. <laughs> Just a I want tacos. Um, third asset here. This is from K K Quest Atlas. Oh, wow. He got the DSLR out for this one. Wealthy, 
What do you think, drift flipper skip? The thing that's like creepy to me about that is it looks like he took it like around the corner from the office. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, drift flipper skip. Uh, it's not really like a fit. Like it's just a skip. He's got like an Eddie Bauer jacket on. You, you're skipping him. I, I, I'm giving him a drip because of the effort. Because you, you, it's, it's a it's a nice photo the composition. You got the depth of field. Uh, I like it. Uh, we have one more outfit to go through. We're running out of time here. Um, Wealthy, is this a drip, flip, or skip for you? Can we tell what sneakers he has on? Uh, we're squinting. Those, Wealthy's always squinting, but yeah, those look like a SB, don't they? I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna. They look like a dunk high. I'm gonna plead the fifth here because I can't totally they tell like what sneaker he has on. I, I like it. That's a drip. That's a drip from Wealthy. Um, a couple more donations. Where are the female guests at? This is five dollars from Belmont Street. Natasha Cloy, please. Y'all need a recent champ. We, we're working on some of those. Let the um, record show that we have booked a very prominent female guest multiple times on this show, and she's canceled. That's right. We're not going to say who. Show. We're not going to say who. $10. And we also had a female guest on the show who walked off the set. That's true. Ten dollars from Nerd Stuff saying go. Oh, Nerd Stuff saying go watch Nerd Stuff. I'm a huge fan of the show too, boys. Ten dollars from Josh Spear too, who has. Uh, Ten dollars, I think, is our biggest donation so far. We appreciate it. Uh, tell the boys behind the scenes that they are doing some fabulous real-time editing. Shout out yes. to John again. Yes. On another note, I'm curious what amount of money we would need to donate to get Brendan to shave his head to match Welty. Oh, uh, I don't know, a thousand bucks? I don't something <laughs> modest, five hundred. I'm gonna listen. Like I said so many times, we don't want to call this full-size run. This is a live stream. This is something akin to full-size run, but we don't have Dad. I'm going to try and get Dad on the line right now. No no grams because I don't have his number, but I'm, I'm FaceTiming Dad in to see if he the can join us. The funniest part about that stream. was when Rich actually tried to call Cat. Did he try to call Khaled? No, I oh, think Rich a kid, yeah. He's <laughs> like, no, I can't call everyone. Yeah, uh, Trinidad James so far not picking up my FaceTime. This this might be a dud, guys, um, but I'm we trying. We tried calling him... Uh, the other day and he picked up and it was like 11 o'clock in the morning he's like i'm drinking wine drinking wine but he was in portugal right oh yeah Acarayo. listen trinidad's i'm sorry guys trinidad is not picking up but the good news is he will be with us next week when we come back for the new season of full size run the new season premieres on january 30th thursday at 6 p.m eastern is still the time when full size run launches that's when you can find us um we're really happy about these first couple guests we have lined up a couple other things just to recap here. We have new merch at shop.complex.com. Please go check out the merch. Please buy a bunch of it for every single member of your family. Induct them into the FS Army. Recruit them. Wealthy, what else are we giving away? Uh, we have some other. <laughs> this is from the Fat Show episode, isn't it? Is it? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, Wealthy showing you some worst take sneakers. We are giving all those away. So did or did not... The Fat Joe incident, did that put the pressure on Reebok at all? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to go there, which is to say, mm, it put, yeah, Reba, I see the text. Um, I'm not going to go there. Um, Welty. What's up? I have one more um, 9.99 donation that's reading off. This is from Gregory Richards. Um, he says, you guys are great. He says, the first shirt is the best. We need more dad merch. Can members of the FS Army come on the show? Don't hail, don't, and he also says, don't hate male pattern baldness. Hits us all eventually. That's not true. I am never suffering from male pattern baldness. I have so much fucking hair, man. <laughs> um, we have another donation. Belinda Nevis saying, Wealthy is a forgotten member of the Baldwin family. No hair and no Jordans 2020. He's a changed man. Folks, we're so happy. Oh, you oh this. wow. That just hit me. Yeah? It hits different, right? Yeah, it just hits different. Um, um, anything else you want to say to the people out there, Wealthy? The, the FS Army is watching. Any more motivational words? Um, just not new year, new you, but just do awesome things. Okay. Watch the show. Subscribe to Soul Collector. Mm -hmm. If you probably already are subscribed. We appreciate that. Come out to Complex Con, see us live. Yeah, we're, we got a lot of exciting Buy some merch. Happening. Don't uh, be embarrassed about your hairline. No, sir. Hit the fucking gym. Eat a steak. Grab a kettlebell. Be a man. Season premiere on... January 30th, we'll be here. Dad will be here. We got a special guest lined up. Um, thank you to everybody who donated. I don't know. I don't know what kind of crazy total we have. I don't even know where that money goes. But uh, we do appreciate you showing your support in, in in all these ways that you do. Thank you for that. Um, you know what it is. New season Thursday, January 30th, 6 p.m. Eastern, and also Complex Sneakers Podcast every Friday at 6 a.m. Old Man Run Club. That's what I'm on. You yeah, can find and. Me out uh, here. Stop sending me and Brendan pictures of Peter Rosenberg and saying that's me. I don't yeah. appreciate it. We're off that.
I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. And we had with us I'm today. Prop. Gerald Flores. Resident Prop Gerald. <laughs> no Trinidad. We'll see you soon. Nike check what it looked like. Look like. Size six Yeezys with the three stripes. Three. Bad, bad, bad mama jama with some thick thighs. Hey. She a number one. Woo. Hot fries. <laughs> you a pretty woman that's a full size. Four, I'm a pay tuition that's a full ride. Four, right. I buy every pair that's a full size. Four, she want every color that's a full size. <laughs> that's a full size. <laughs> that's a full size. <laughs> she want every pair that's a full size. <laughs> That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every.